in the previous video we have seen what is key cool structure what are the different objections made to key cool structure now but finally the key cool cyclic uh, structure was accepted though we had certain objections we will also be seeing in this video you know, today the other structures what were proposed for benzene right. so when when structure of benzene was proposed like key cool after giving the acceptable one then uh, later on the most acceptable one was the orbital diagram based on the concept of resonance de delocalization that we'll be studying right so benzene structure was or it was proposed by or given by different chem or if i have to say scientists done so the first structure which was given of uh, means other than key cool was divar structure okay so we will first write the names and then draw the diagrams after divar structure it was cross structure cross structure also was given after that armstrong structure was given armstrong structure after armstrong structure ladenburg structure was given ladenburg structure so these were different different structures but they were not accepted after ladenburg structure we will be also seeing one more that is thales theory or thales theory this also was given right let's see so according to diva structure the benzene structure according to diva the structure of benzene were, looked like this this is what he has given so what did it have it has a very long you know uh, para bond see here this is para position isn't it this is ortho this is meta so here what does it have it has a very long para bonded uh, correct, means para bonds they are connecting opposite uh, carbons this carbon and this carbon so as all the carbon carbon single bonds in benzene are identical so we said all the bonds since it's h6 all are identical but here one there is a long pi bond here so there is a long para bond that's why this structure was not accepted this is not identical isn't it this is again long and different so what made it uh, why didn't we accept this because of presence of para bond okay and that two para bond is how it's a long para bond para bond presence of long para bond between carbon and carbon but in benzene all are identical this is what that's why this is not accepted no. now when we come to cross structure how does cross structure look cross structure basically this is also cyclic only but this is a ring here let's join all these bonds this is cross so what is the same reason all the bonds are not identical that's why this also bonds are not identical that's why this is also not accepted just like equal then came into existence or the assumption was given by armstrong what did armstrong how does armstrong structure look armstrong structure this is also cyclic only but this is how he has given this is armstrong structure <clears throat> what did he say each carbon you know in this particular thing has a valency which is not satisfied isn't it in such case how does it form it has to form compounds like c6 h5 x such a product was not formed by benzene isn't it that's why it is not accepted now when i come to ladenburg structure ladenburg structure was looking like this this is ladenburg structure 
so again this is not planar we said so benzene or uh, uh, this in, uh, this uh, arene has a planar hexagonal cyclic structure we said so three words planar hexagonal cyclic structure these three should are the characteristic feature of benzene but is it planar not it is not in one plane isn't it so this was also rejected not planar hence this is also rejected then came into uh, this the one more uh, theory which was given by thiel or with thiel we say thiel's theory so this he has given a structure or proposed a structure for benzene what did he say he said that free valencies whatever three pi bonds are there no three free valencies of neighboring carbons interact with it he said what are like three valencies whatever are there they are going to interact and they get neutralized so what is the structure he has given let's draw that first this also he has picked up a cyclic hexagonal structure like this only one more <coughs> benzene then he said the three valencies here in this case here in this case here now here it is in between this bond and this bond is or this bond and this bond 2 and 3 now to shift that <coughs> valencies are here valencies in here that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 here the valencies are between 2 and 3 this is 2 and 3 then between 4 and 5 then between 6 uh, and 1 here it is between 1 and 2 between 3 and 4 and between 5 and 6 both are different isn't it now what he said is the partial valencies whatever it is the free valencies are there no this one he said the free valencies of neighboring carbons this free valency and this free valency they interact and they get neutralized he said right so the, and he also said because they get neutralized benzene will not undergo addition reactions that is what he said benzene will not undergo addition reactions because the free valencies okay let us read that free valencies of neighboring carbon atoms neighboring carbon atoms get neutralized so because of this free valence is <coughs> of uh, the neighboring carbon atom because they get neutralized benzene does not undergo addition reactions but what does it undergo it undergoes addition reactions but undergoes substitution reactions So addition will not prefer, but under course substitution reaction. This is the main reason because they get neutralized. Once they are neutralized, where will it add? It will not add, isn't it? You can't add. So that's why it will not undergo addition, but under course substitution reaction. This is what he said. This is called Thiele's theory of partial valencies. So that is right, Thiele's theory of partial valencies. So like this. But this theory also failed. Why did it fail? when we when they have, when they have applied the same concept to cyclo octatetraene okay so partial valencies he said partial valencies get neutralized but in in case of cyclo octatetraene so let us write that failures of thiele's theory so the same concept of partial partial valence is getting neutralized so based on that concept when this was applied to what what octa octa tetra e which octa tetra in cyclo octa tetra when this was given or when this concept of partial neutralization was applied to this what will happen the molecule it has undergone addition reactions there are no addition reactions that's why they said there is no chelation means there was no neutralization happening in this between neutralization partial valencies 
and failure to undergo addition. This theory was not accepted. So that means this there was no partial valence, there was no neutralization happening. They said because this is cyclooctatetrain, though it has pi bonds, alternate pi bonds, it has undergone addition. Then they ruled out that no partial valencies were neutralized as these are not neutralized what happened this theory was were not neutralized so hence this theory was not accepted this is what is the concept for this failure right fine so such different different theories were given other than kikul <clears throat> now we'll be seeing what did uh, levine and cole what did they do so levine and uh, cole they taken this structure levine and cold what do they do they have conducted ozonolysis experiments ozonolysis experiments so on what did they conduct they have conducted ozonolysis experiment on ortho xylene ortho xylene we will see what it is and after proving after taking this ortho xylene they said that Kikul structures are acceptable for benzene because of this ortho xylene ozonolysis experiment. This was a support to Kikul structure. They finally confirmed that they confirmed and they proved also. They proved or confirmed that Kikul's structure are acceptable. This is what they said because of this. What is the ortho xylene now? <coughs> this is your benzene ring. 1 CH3 is this. This is CH3. Now alternate pi bonds. Okay, okay, not meet here. Okay, this is one. This is ortho xylene. Xylene is two methyl groups. Now I'm going to shift the same pi bonds in this direction. But CH3 groups are in the ortho position only. So this is ortho xylene. So when they have pop, uh, formed or they have when they have done the ozonolysis uh, reactions, I've already shown you what is ozonolysis, addition of ozone. So this addition of ozone, it has given us a different products because of this product formation. They said a key cool structure is confirmed. What are the different products? So ozonolysis of ortho xylene has given two moles of I am not showing these reactions I am just writing the products here this is what it has given two moles of methyl glyoxyl okay this is what methyl glyoxyl methyl glyoxyl it has given two moles of methyl glyoxyl after that the ozonolysis product of this has also given CH3 CH what is this this is glyoxyl Apart, uh, this is for first one. This, these two are given by the first compound. The second compound, whatever we have taken, the second uh, second compound has given us this product. I have done the analysis. I am directly writing the products here. What is this? This is dimethyl glyoxyl. Dimethyl glyoxyl. And the second product was also given <coughs> now this is glyoxyl how many two moles of let us not write two moles it is only glyoxyl so it is proved by levine and Cole that ortho xylene gives so many products what is the ratio they form in the ratio of three is to two is to one what is it is only proposed that only when ortho xylene exists as both key cool structure the actual structure is a resonance hybrid which we'll be studying so this experiment's proof they have given a perfect proof that key cool structures are the real structure of benzene and its derivatives hope you understood students so what did i say ortho xylene exists in both key cool structures then we have shifted and shown isn't it so here in this previous uh, uh this one here i've shown here see I'm shifting the pi bonds because this after shifting the pi bonds, this is giving two products, and after shifting this second one also is giving two products. 
so because of this it is proved that kikul both the structures are acceptable thank you for watching students